they can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the That was just an excellent rendition of the Star Spangled Banner by Deanna Fox. Or well, we've heard a lot worse. I shouldn't say it that way, but she really did a good job. Very good job by that young lady. And my partner, Scott Ledoux, is coming back again. Well, Scott, I half expected you to sing the Star Spangled Banner instead of that young lady. You know, uh, with this voice, it would sound like it was coming out of a tunnel from Pennsylvania in a coal mine. <laughs> I just don't sing well. I do real good in the shower, though. She did an excellent job. Excellent job. Real clear. And, uh, you know, that's real hard to do, I think, to get up here and sing without music like that. I went and I, went and I said, well, I've heard a lot worse. I, I really should have said that. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> sure, maybe, 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 I, hard. maybe our crack producers will cut that out. Oh, yes. Maybe they'll get lucky. At the end, the conclusion. You're looking at uh, Rahim, Rahim Muhammad, Muhammad coming in, coming in right now. This is the main event. Rahim had 280 for amateur fights, 140 pro fights. There's nothing new. He's been there for a long time. He knows what he's doing. I've got his record at 65, 72, and 9. I don't know how close that. Comes All right, to. I suppose. He's fought under a lot of different names, from what I understand. <laughs> Sports Illustrated uh, interviewed him for a future story. When? Well, not too long ago. He uh, he's evidently he's evidently had. Uh, some drug abuse problems and is making a, a real strong comeback. And he's wanted a chunk of, of Mike ever since day one. I talked to Mike's uh, dad just before this bout. His dad says uh, they haven't slept for three days. And he, uh, his dad hasn't slept for three days. He says, I don't know what I'd ever do if Mike ever won for a championship. It's a scary time in your life, I'll tell you that. You're so excited and so, and so much anticipating and waiting for a, come for a big fight. You really are nervous. Now let's see if Mike has his theme song tough enough when he comes in. Let's give it up to uh, Mike Tuckman Avery. Benson, Minneapolis, Mert Herrick from Rochester, and George Ryder Jr. from Anoka. Counting for the knockdowns at the bell, George Lilly, your timekeeper. Bobby Andrich, the commission physician in attendance at ringside, Dr. Sheldon Scott, Sheldon Siegel, Dr. Sheldon Siegel. Music crowds rising in anticipation. I will 
If you notice what it says in the corner, the bull. <laughs> on all the corners. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa used to say to me, I'm the bull. And I was the calf. Well, when I got older, I became the bull. Now my little guy, he wants to be the bull. I said, no, you're just a calf. Just a calf. <laughs> We're going to find out who the bull is tonight. Supposedly, this is for the Junior Welterweight Championship. In this Minnesota. is for the State Junior Welterweight Championship. We're in for a war tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a serious fight. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to tell you before everything gets started here that our producer tonight has been Bill Bruce. Our director is Rich Kemp. Tapes and audio has been Pat Cook. And graphics has been Terry De La Barbara. There's a nice name. Uh, camera is Dale Irving and my old friend Tony Vietti and Ed Bach. Just in case after the fight is over, I don't get a chance to do this. And I want to thank uh, Joe Sensor and Tom Reed for stopping out and Ed Rubenstein from the Timberwolves. Uh, Ray Scott from Ray Scott Sport Bar. Uh, everybody who stopped by tonight and helped us out with uh, some information. We really appreciate those people stopping down. For those of you in the neighborhood, stop out at Joe Center's Sports Bar. Nice place, good food. And Ray Scott's downtown. Now I've covered everybody. Red Corner from Minneapolis, Minnesota. He's wearing red trunks with a white stripe. He weighs 138 pounds. Here he is, Raheem Muhammad. Muhammad. His opponent Blue Corner from St. Paul, Minnesota. Well, this crowd's behind him. Yep. He's wearing black trunks with a white stripe. He weighs 138 pounds. Undefeated contender for the championship of the world. Here he is, the Rice Street rocker, Mike Evian. Mike Evian. Well, we estimate the crowd to be between 3,500 and 4,000 people here tonight, and every one of them is cheering for Mike Evian. It There's seems like no love between these guys. No love between these guys. You can see by looking at each other, they are ready to go. They could have held this one in a phone booth as far as Mike's concerned. Well, we've seen some great fights tonight, and I think this one's going to be a real topper. A real good fight. This crowd's behind him, boy. Try and get in sometime between the bouts, between the rounds. Uh, another viewing schedule here for TV 33 Sports. Both feeling each other out. Well, he sits way back on that right foot. It's real hard to reach a guy when he's out reach. Mike's got to get inside, and throw them punches. Well, he's definitely got the reach on him. He's got to work his way in, keep working, go downstairs, go upstairs. Good combination by Mike. Not landing anything good though yet. Use that jab, Raheem. Stick him. Stick him, Walt. Stick him. Use the jab, Walt. Mike's got to keep working that body. Sooner or later, those legs will slow down. In this camera angle, uh, if you can see behind, right behind Mike, there's a lady in a pink shirt in the front row with a baby with a blue striped shirt on it. Uh, baby is Mike's youngest fan. A year and a half old, he calls him a rocker. That's Joanne Boss in the pink shirt for their grandchild. Use that chair! Use that chair! Use that chair! 
Let's play for Dick Boss at Mike works for Good right, right hand. Good right hand. Nice right hand by Edwin. Gotta keep going. He's waiting his shot and he's landing it. Good right hand to the body. Another good right hand to the body. Mike's doing the right thing, caving that body in on the inside. Watch those heads, though. We've talked about Raheem before, throwing a lot of slaps, a lot of a lot of easy punches that look good for the judges. Right. He's going to have a tough time uh, putting Mike away with something. Good, right. Ooh, good right hand, the body right hand of the head. Well, he was not giving him any room, though. He's fighting him. It's a good fight. Feeling over the left jab, right hand of the body, and another right hand of the head. Working inside, this is rough fighting in here. Referee's letting him fight. Well, he was doing a smart thing. He's pushing him back, not giving him any room to punch. Because you know, Mike needs just a little room to get them shots off. Well, Mike trained recently with Angelo Dundee, one of the great trainers in the game. Good right hand to the body. Another good, another good right hand. Mike's doing a great job going to the body early here. Going to the body early and buckling them legs. Those body punches are nice and solid. Well, he landed a good right hand there at the end of that round. This was a good round. That was a real good round. Real good round. Here comes the replay. Good right hand to the body there. See the right hands and the left hook. Good round, both guys fighting good. Good rounds. There's Mike Evian, Rooks in the corner, real relaxed. Now they switch over to Muhammad. Raheem Muhammad. Guys had 148 pro fights, you're not gonna tell him anything new. That's good. for sure, he fought under a number of different names. Uh, besides Raheem Muhammad, he was Walter, Walter Collins. Collins. Yep. He's up off the stool early. You know, this is scheduled for eight rounds. It's junior welterweight. Uh, Championship in the state. And the way this thing looks is that if it, these guys could go all night, I think. Yep. If this doesn't get settled, they're, they'll probably be doing, going at it out in the alley. Break it up. Kenny Nelson, one of the most experienced referees in the world. He does international bouts. He does world championship fights. He's not going to take this from either one of them. They're going to have to fight or get out. He warned them both. Good move, real nice move. You can't let rough get roughhouse in there because you'll get butted in there. You got, you got to fight his fight. Raheem wants him to roughhouse. He got a chance of cutting him. There. They're trading in here right now. I'll tell you that. This is a good fight. Raheem's pushing him back. Raheem's using every trick he ever had. Definitely got the reach. Good right hand to the body. The right Street Rockers doing a good job. And oh, he got hit with a nice right hand though. Another left hook. Catching Mike with some good punches. This is a good fight, I'll tell you. This is everything they expected it to be. Boy, can these guys keep this up for eight rounds? Yeah, they will, too. They got no quit in them, either one of them. This is a grudge match here. Oh, Mike got hit with a good left hook and took it easy. Good left hook. Raheem's getting the better of him right now. Another left hook by Raheem. Mike's going to get off those ropes. He ain't letting him off those ropes. Trick he ever had. It looks easy good out there. Right in. Ooh, good body shots. Mike's coming back with some nice body shots. Come on, you got a punch. Mike got him on the left. Mike got him on the left hook. That's it, Mike. That jab. Keep it going. Good right hands.
Danny Nelson doing a good job. Good right hand by Mike. Left. Good up with that. Real nice right up with the Mike W. Raheem comes right back. Right back. Throwing punches after the bell. This is a heated fight, I'll tell you that. This is a heated fight. This is the kind of fight you like to see. Okay, the TV 33 playback schedule, real quick again now. Uh, Saturday, 10 20, 89 at 10 p.m. We're going to go to replay. replay. Left hook there by Raheem. Mike slipping that one. Right uppercut. Beautiful right uppercut by Mike Evian. I'll tell you what, Raheem right back and throwing punches at the end of the bell. There's no love lost here. Okay, here we go again now. Saturday, 10 20 at 10 p.m. Uh, Sunday, 10 21 at 5 p.m. Monday, 10 23 at 9 a.m. Wednesday, 11 1 at 10 a.m. Sunday, 11 5 at noon and 10 p.m. Monday, 11 6 at 9 a.m. That's on Channel 33, which is in these cities Arden Hills, Roseville, Little Canada, New Brighton, North Oaks, Columbia Heights, Shoreview, Moundsview, St. Anthony, Lauderdale, Falcon Heights, and Hilltop. Up. It's also going to be available on St. Paul Regional Cable Channel, White Bear Lake, Green, and Burnsville. Oh, lost here. They get serious, Mike. Well, he moved him to the ropes. Mike's got to stay in the middle of the ring now. Referee seems to be having some trouble with Raheem. Doesn't want to answer what he says. Slapping right hand by Raheem. There's not much on that. The only punch Raheem seems to have anything on is that hook. And that's a cuffing hook. Mike's got to get the oh another right hand body shot beautiful right hand. Gonna follow he's, Mike seems to follow that jab in and throw the right hand right behind the body. Concentration on Mike's face is Mike's intense, gonna, isn't it? Caught with that hook coming out of them, them clinches. See every time he's throwing a hook. Look at the concentration on these guys' faces. Both really they want this fight bad. There's bad blood here. I've never seen it, Raheem fight this intense. Have you? No, no. He's usually joking around and slapping and playing. He's really after him this time. Trying every trick in the book, I'll tell you that. This is a dead even fight right now. One of these fighters are going to have to get it, get lucky, I think. The way they're going at it. I've never seen Mike take this much punishment in any of his fights before either. Mike's got to get a little busier on the inside there. Can't tie up a weight. He's got to punch with him. That's where his skills are, punching with this guy. You got to get busier. Right there, he's got to be busy. There, just like that. There you go. Punch with him. Don't tie up. Let him punch. You punch. Make him quit punching. That's what you have to do. Make him quit punching. Good round. Good round. Good round. This crowd's loving it. A lot of people on their feet. Looks like Raheem's got a little bump on his eye. Eyes a little puffy, one cheek. Mike's got a little cheek that's puffy. Both taking their toll. As you can see Raheem, they're working on his eye. He's got a cut, either a cut over the eye or under it. I don't know which it is. 
the small cut, just an abrasion, maybe. Got something laying in the ring in there, in front of Raheem's corner. I don't know what that is, but ice. looks like ice. Might not be ice, I don't know. Come on, Raheem, let's go! Well, these guys took up right where they left off. They're not going to change either. They're going to keep fighting. Keep throwing. Keep throwing. Kenny Nelson's not going to take much more of Raheem's uh, antics here. Oh, he caught Mike with a real nice left hook. Didn't shake him, but he caught him clean. Mike's got a punch in there. Right there, he's got to be punching. Remember, he was throwing an awful lot of leather. Mike's got to get busier in there right now. He can't wait. He's got to keep throwing. Got to keep throwing. Raheem's out punching him right now. He's got to throw the leather around. Can't wait and let this guy throw. Got to keep throwing. There you go. He's got to do tip tap right all the way around. He's patty kicking if you have to. Who's that jab, Raheem? Who's that left hand? Raheem's looking to replace the rest. That's where Mike's got to go. Mike wants to rest right now. Mike's got to take advantage of him. Definitely wants to rest. Well, he is definitely looking for a place to rest. You let him off the hook. Don't let him rest like that. Make him fight. So a couple of well-conditioned athletes, so they're really they're really out to win this fight. No doubt about it. Raheem's changing the pace now. This got to be the toughest good, fight Mike's ever had. Good left hand by Mike in the cleats. Oh, left jab. Another left hand. He's landing fine as Mark right now. Mike's slipping good right here. Yeah, keep throwing, Mike. Keep throwing, Mike. That's it. That's what's going to beat this guy. Just keep pitching. Raheem's a slick fighter. He's been around. But Raheem's getting tired of me, as I can tell. Getting tired of me, as I can tell. Here he comes back. It's a good round for Evian right now. Don't let him off the hook, Mike. Get on him. Uh, or he will get a chance to rest here pretty quick. This is almost the end of round four. Good round for Evian, though. Real good round. Finish it off with the flare. That's what you got to do. That's a good round uh, for Evian there. We've got a replay coming up now. Some of the action in the fourth round. Good round. Good punches here. Heavy. Raheem throwing some combinations. Mike, uh, this is his best round as far as I'm concerned. I think Mike uh, might have an edge right now in this fight with that round. After four rounds, it's only a one-point edge, though. Not very much. Not very much. It's a close fight, but I get him a one-point edge. Still working on that eye of uh, yeah, Raheem. Bump over it, and he's got a bump under it. They're encouraging Raheem to get going there. They even have to encourage him. Mike, there he goes. I don't know how he can fight much harder. He's been really throwing it out there. Raheem will be good early, and then he's going to get tired again if that's if he's out if his conditioning is there. Mike's got to follow that jab in, two, three jabs, just like that. Can't let Raheem throw one jab and wait. Raheem spits on that hook and misses around. 
Yeah, Mike's, Mike's lead still look good. Yep. Mike's got to let him go when he gets in there. He cocked that one and then stopped it. Let him go. Raheem doesn't seem as sharp right now as he was earlier in the fight. It was a good left hook by him. Mike's taking some pretty good punches. That was a good left hook by Mike, though. Keep throwing, Mike. You got to stop in there, Raheem. He's going to start pitching. You got to pitch with him. Oh! Yeah. Elbow. That was a tremendous elbow. That was a terrible elbow. Terrible elbow. Raheem tried to get away with it. I want that on a replay. He tried to cut him with an elbow, is what he tried to do. That was almost a clothesline. Raheem is definitely tired. He's definitely out of gas. Mike's got to press him now. Press him, just press him. Relax, Mike, and walk in and press him. Keep on, keep coming forward. Get them body shots. Change your way in. Body, Mike, that body can't move. Good left hook. Raheem well, seems to have lost the pop in his punch right now, hasn't he? He certainly does. There, certainly. Mike's doing the right thing. Press him back. There you go. Now work. And he certainly looks a lot right different now than he did two rounds ago, three rounds ago. Mike's got that body shot going. There's a nice combination by Raheem, though, coming right back. Good right hand right at the end there. Here we can get a replay on that uh, elbow. I hope. I hope you can catch it. Our, our crack producers are going to be right there. You just watch. Here they go. Maybe this is it right here. Watch this elbow. Look at that elbow. He didn't even try him with the glove. He just tried to hit him with the elbow. And Denny Nelson caught it and warned Raheem about it. I'm surprised he didn't take some points away from him. Yeah, he, uh, he caught it and he'll watch for it. Unbelievable. Looks like there was some dissension in their, uh, their corner over here with Raheem. A lot of conversation going on in there. Mike looks real calm over there. Not breathing hard. He's in good shape. Raheem's looking for air. Mike runs an awful lot. You can always see him running around Rice Street. We grew him tough on Rice Street. <laughs> be tough or be dead, right? Yep. I got Mike ahead a couple rounds right now. Kareem's coming back with a stiff jab right now. That was a weak right hand that Raheem threw there a little bit earlier. He hasn't got a good right hand. It's a slapping right hand. There's no doubt about it. But he's got a stiff left hand. I almost think he's a converted southpaw. Where he spits on that left hook all the time. The right is real awkward when he throws it too. He leaves himself wide open. Left, left hook by Raheem though going away. This is a good fight. This is everything we expected. Ooh, good move on Mike's part. That was pretty slick. Ooh, good right uppercut by Mike. Good right uppercut. Another right hand. Ooh, nice left. Left hook there. They exchanged left hooks. Another left hook by Raheem. Took. This is a good fight, I'll tell you that. Give it and take it right now. Another left jab. That might keep that jab going even on the inside. That's what you have to do. Get that right hand just a little bit higher, Mike. 
Left hook by Raheem, right hand. Combination, left hook, getting finished up by Raheem. I'm having fun just listening to you call this fight. This is a good fight. This is a good round. They're pitching and catching, I'll tell you that. Crowd loves it. And the ropes here. Right hand by Mike, left hook, right hand. Good left hook, but he didn't even rock Mike. He hit him and he didn't even hurt him. He didn't get his attention. We don't see hot dogging in this match. Ooh, there's a good right hand. Mike got a little tired here, he got a little careless. Can't be careless on him. Spun him on the ropes. About 35 seconds to go on this round. Don't load up. Round six. 20 seconds to go. 25. They didn't, they didn't let up here. They haven't really let up. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he caught Mike with about three, four good clean punches out there. Didn't hurt him. Well, he was definitely coming on right now. He's closing a gap in that point. Yep. Mike's coming right back. Good round. Good round. Well, he was sitting right down. That was a good round. Round seven. We're we're in, entering uh, area right now for uh, Mike Evans. He's never been before. It's His true. longest fight, six rounds. He's going into round seven, and uh, it's new land for him, new territory. But uh, his conditioning should be all right. All he has to do now is convince himself that it's no different than a three-rounder. Raheem, I think it looks like he's banking on hoping to get Mike in the later rounds where well, Mike's going to be tired and his experience will come through. I don't know. I, I've known Mike a long time. I bet you you're going to see Mike fighting as hard in the seventh and eighth round as he had in the first and second round. He's gonna fighting as hard. What we hope to see is his hands are as fast. And that's yeah, the key. That's true. Looks like Mike might have a little cut on his left cheek. No, he's got some grease on there. You gotta look, his cheek, your cheek's gonna puff up in there. This isn't patty cake, this is a fight. This, this alone was worth the price of admission. Yeah, this is a great fight. The crowd's loving it. Mike Evian is in here with the most experienced fighter he's ever been in with, I'm sure. Ever. Definitely the toughest fight he's had. And the most experienced. This guy's been around the world. Put the pressure on him, Rob. Come on, Rob. Don't slow down. Come on, Rob. Get out of here. Don't wait. Make him work. I don't know if that punch was just a fake or is he that tired? It really was slow, wasn't it? It certainly was. He definitely is tired. Yeah, he's either playing possum or he's tired. I don't know which it is. Because that punch looked like it was in slow motion. He's gotten tired all of me all of a sudden. Unless he's resting. Tactically, Mike seems to be fighting his fight, what he wants to do with this guy. See, Raheem seems to rest that first part of the round, and then, then comes on strong towards the end. Almost like he's got a built-in clock inside of him that says, you know, there's a minute left, let's do it. He's trying to keep Mike trapped on the ropes. For what purpose, I don't know. But if I was Raheem, I'd want Mike Evian right out in the middle of the ring. 51 seconds to go. They're both trading you. There you go. These guys are throwing upwards of 100 punches. 100 punches around. They're throwing a lot of punches. I can tell you that. Good left hook. Good left hook. He hurt him with that left hook. He definitely hurt him with that left hook. The world. Raheem came back with his own left hook. 
That's probably Mike Evans' best left hook of the fight right there. We might want to get that a replay. It's been a good round for Mike, as far as I can see. He hasn't dominated, but I think he won the round. He won the round. You no, know, Mike's went past no man's land. Now he knows he can go there. Here comes your replay. There's that left hook to rock Raheem. Raheem is definitely going to have new respect for Mike Evian after this fight. As soon as this fight's over, you're going to see Scott LeDoux going up in the ring again to talk with uh, the winner. Just like old times for you, Scott. Eighth and final round. This is it. Raheem's going to make one last push here. I got him behind right now. Not Mike's by much, gonna, though. Mike's got to make a fight of it this round. Raheem's not going to win it doing that. He's going to raise it. Kenny Nelson doing a good job again. Probably the best official we've had around here for a long time without, as far as worldwide experience. Mike caught him on a right uppercut. Good working on the ropes. Well, he, he's getting to the ropes where you can't do anything when he gets in there. Mike's in. There. What's Mike doing? He's fighting southpaw there. This is something new I didn't know about. <laughs> You've seen that three times tonight now. Maybe some of these guys can't figure out if they're right or left. Three left hooks by Mike. Well, he was tired. There's no doubt about it. Mike's definitely landed some punches here. And again, Mike could have been fighting that way just to confuse him. Mike has definitely got this guy a little tired right now. This, this is a great fight. Everything we ever expected. Minute and a half to go in the round. We're halfway through here. Raheem is definitely tired. Definitely tired. He can, nothing he can do about what he's, he's just pushing him in the ropes and trying to survive because he's got nothing left. Caught a couple good shots there. Raheem just got his head down throwing. This is definitely a championship fight. State yeah. championship fight, and I'll tell you they're fighting. Raheem's tired. I think Mike's going to win it, but it's going to be a close one. He's not, he didn't get a cheap date out of it. It wasn't an easy fight. But I'll tell you what, he learned some. What a great eight-rounder to have your first eight-rounder, I'll tell you that. This is a great fight. 30 seconds to go. This is a crowd. Bell wants crazy. a knockout. They want Mike to knock him out. I'll tell you what, dude. Mike wins, that's an accomplishment. I'll tell you what. This is a great fight. Trading now. They're trading now. Boy, they've thrown a lot of punches. They just can't believe of, they can keep it up. A lot of leather here. They're just sitting on a ropes throwing thing. Good fight. Good fight. Now we gotta wait for the outcome. I'll tell you what, I always get nervous when it comes to decisions. You bet. Uh, I had Mike ahead of my card. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I thought he had to fight, but it went out by a wide margin. It's gonna be close. It'll be a good fight, good decision. Just about everybody in this place is standing up right now.
You heading up there, Scott? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Mack will render the plaque to the winning fighter tonight. That'll be for the Super Wallaway Championship of the state of Minnesota. Mr. Bob Mack of the Minnesota State Athletic Commission will present the plaque to the winner of tonight's slam bang, great fight. Come on, Chuck, get with it. Let's have a good hand for both these strong fighters. Once more, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice hand for these two great fighters. Aaron Productions with promoters, Joe Montpettit and Jim Rogers. A real great night out of St. Paul's past. One of the best fights in over 20 years. But a Chuck, let's get a decision. What do you see? I see. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a split decision. The winner on a split decision from St. Paul, Mike Evian. What did I tell you? Honestly, Scott, Scott you, you're, you're something else. And you got two, three judges looking at it. Everybody looks at it differently. Yep. Great fight, though. Raheem is really taking a bat up here. Well, there you see a picture of Mike Evian, the winner, and he's a junior welterweight champion of the state of Minnesota right now. Scott Ledoux is on his way in the ring now to interview Mike. There you see Raheem. Raheem is really taking a bet. There you see Mike with his plaque. Mikey. Scott's trying to make his way over to Mike. Are we ready? Mike, it had to be a great night for you. That was a great fight, one of the best fights you've had for a long time. Oh, thanks a lot, Scotty. It's tough, I gotta give him a lot of credit. I kind of fought stupid. I should have been jabbing and moving all night long. He, he was a little tar hard to get in on. He was really crowding me. It was tough to get the jab going. He was cramping my style a little bit. Don't be so hard on yourself. When you're fighting a good opponent, you're going to not be able to do all the things you like to do. But I thought you did an exceptional job. You kept your poise. You didn't get excited. What did you see different tonight than you didn't think you'd see? Uh, he was a lot tougher than I thought he'd be. I know he was talking a good show, but I didn't think he was as tough as he was. Give, give him a lot of credit. He's a good fighter. Um, That's my first eight rounder, you got to remember, too. So I, now, now I got a taste of it. So I, I know where I'm at now. Yeah, we were over there. We were doing the fight. When we got to the seventh round, I said, Mike's in a land he's never been before. And now we'll have to find out how much he really enjoys this sport. And you know, what, you know what I saw? I saw a guy who enjoyed his job. I saw a warrior. And I'm really impressed with the way you kept your composure. Your conditioning is tremendous. Congratulations, the new junior welterweight champion of, of Minnesota. Okay. Thanks for stopping up here. Thank you, Scott. I got to give a lot of credit to my corner, Jay Pelzer, Biff Holstein, and Paul Ebel. They really pumped me up there in the last couple rounds. And I really, I really needed that. And I'd also like to thank St. Jude for his prayers that he answered for me tonight. 
You bet. What do you guys think? Were you happy with the performance? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, I was uh, hoping that he'd box a little more, but uh, he's a very unorthodox type of fighter. Very difficult to uh, figure out a guy's style like that. He's, he's floundering around out there, throwing uh, uh, punches and grabbing, and uh, very difficult uh, type of fighter to fight. I guess the question we all want to know is what's next for Mike? I get in better shape, I think, and then just take them as they come. I got a lot of support out here. I really appreciate that. And just, it's just great, great feeling to be here. What do you think? What's his next fight? Do you know when he's going to fight again? Uh, the way I understand, I talked with the managers, and they said uh, December 13th. December 13th. Right, right here. Okay, that'll be the week right after the uh, Leonard Duran fight. And Duran may retain the title, and we can come watch this young man go after that That's same belt. That'll get him going. Congratulations again. It was a great fight. You guys did a great job. Thank you.